In today's video we will be doing a spark plug change for the Audi RS6. Uh, this is for the C5 uh, models uh, which have the BCY engine. Uh, so let's take a look at what's involved. So first things first, let's get rid of the uh, V8 cover from the front. Uh, now as you can see at the front here, you can see the uh, the front two coil packs, uh, they're, they're accessible without too much of, a, of an issue, uh, but obviously the uh, the rear ones are hidden underneath the uh, the air box here. So to gain access to, the, to those, we actually need to remove the, uh, the air box to gain access to the uh, spark plugs and coil packs, uh, so we'll do that next. So now we've removed the, uh, the air box, you can see we've actually got really good access to the coil packs here, uh, which is going to uh, enable us, uh, obviously underneath these coil packs we have uh, the spark plugs. Uh, so this is going to enable us um, to uh, give us the access that we need for the, uh, for the spark plugs here. Uh, but as you can see, we've got really, really good access uh, here once that air box is out of the way. Uh, so let's take a look. So first thing we're going to do is uh, remove the uh, electrical connector on the top here. It's the standard Audi type of connector. We do is put the uh, screwdriver in and then whilst opening it up, just gently give it a bit of a rock backwards and forwards and then the whole thing will start to, uh, to slide off like so. And then we can just uh, pull that up and just put that to one side. Now one thing to note, obviously we've got four of them and we do not want to, uh, to get these mixed up, but the cables uh, kind of don't allow that, if that makes any sense. They're kind of uh, positioned in the obvious kind of points. Uh, but if you want to mark them before you remove them, please feel free to do so. Uh, but to be honest, it's kind of hard to, to get them mixed up because they're kind of custom made to the correct length uh, beforehand. Uh, but that's it, so we'll move on. So looking at these, um, obviously you can see you've got quite easy access to the, to the bolts uh, to remove these is what we're going to do next. Uh, the only uh, problem is, you might think there's a problem here, you can't actually uh, see the, the bottom bolt, uh, but this actually moves very, very easily, so you can just flex this kind of up out of the way, and that'll give you the access to the bolt there. And likewise, you've got a bolt at the top here, uh, but once you've disconnected your electrical connection at the bottom, you can just kind of move that up and out, out of the way there, and that'll give you access to that, that bolt as well. So none of these are particularly uh, difficult, and everything kind of does move as, as you kind of need it to. So uh, let's get some of these, uh, some of these bolts removed. All of these uh, bolts are size 10, by the way. Now, under the uh, the coil pack, we've got to kind of uh, imagine, uh, well, as you'll see for yourself, actually, so you won't need to imagine that much. We'll show it to you later in the video. Uh, but when you're doing this, if you imagine that the... Um, and the bottom of this coil pack's like a, like a stick and it's got like a socket in it that fits over the head of the, um, of the spark plug in there. And it's kind of uh, rubber inside so it qu sits quite tight on the, uh, on the spark plug, makes a bit of a seal. So when you pull this off, that's the seal that you're trying to break, it's that kind of seal around the, uh, the spark plug and the coil pack. So it can sometimes be in there quite tight. Now yeah, you can get, and we have got here, um, actual proper uh, tools uh, that slide onto these little kind of notches there and allow you to just kind of pull it off. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one for you in the more kind of DIY orientated way because chances are you probably don't have the, uh, the special tool to do that. Uh, if you have, obviously great, uh, but if you haven't I'll show you uh, how to do this now. And so like I mentioned before you've got these little uh, plastic tabs. I can see this one's going to be quite easy. Um, but what you want to do is kind of put one finger under the electrical connector and uh, don't press too hard on that because that's quite thin plastic. And then also grip uh, where these two, two are and just pull it. Oh, this one's dead easy. Uh, some are a lot harder than others. Uh, but I'm just going to draw this uh, up uh, and out like so and uh, give you a, a quick uh, overview of what we're looking at here. So if you, know, if you look down in the bottom of the hole there you actually see the spark plug poking back up at you and uh, of course the, uh, the coil pack here has got the hole in the end and so it actually slots over the top of the spark plug so the spark plug actually goes kind of straight down uh, in that hole if that makes any sense and obviously the uh, coil pack's got the electrical connector and that's going to pr provide the, uh, the power to the spark plug to enable the, uh, the, the spark to spark plug to spark and obviously uh, create the uh, combustion so that's, that's the, uh, the basics of it it just kind of slot, slots over the, uh, the top of the, uh, of the spark plug itself I'm going to show you uh, the removal on a couple more of these um, because that was a particularly easy one uh, but they're not always that easy uh, so let's take a look 
another easy one. So once the uh, coil pack's out of the way, we can focus on the spark plug, and you will need a dedicated spark plug uh, socket, obviously, to remove this. They have a little kind of rubber uh, insert uh, inside them, which grips the uh, spark plug and helps you uh, remove it. Uh, this one's a size 16. So what you want to do is get a uh, kind of medium length uh, extension and manually feed this in. Make sure it slots nicely over the uh, top of the spark plug and you get right down to the base of it and then you should feel the resistance there. That's perfect. What I'm going to do now is connect the uh, my ratchet wrench onto that and we'll get this out. Okay, so what you want to do is, um, because you've got that kind of um, that rubber seal in there, you want to make sure that the spark plug actually comes out. So I'm kind of turning it far more than I need to to actually remove the, uh, the spark plug. As you can see, we've got a spark plug here. He's, uh, he's, he's seen some action in his days. Uh, so you've got some carbon build up on there. Just going to, uh, to pull that out like so. Uh, that's obviously the old the old spark plug and so now it's time to uh, reinstall the new one so the uh, spark plugs now removed and you will be ready to fit your uh, your nice sparkly new one uh, i'm just going to refit this one just for the sake of a uh, quick illustration uh, obviously you'll be fitting your brand new ones at this stage uh, one thing to to note is uh, you might want to do them uh, one by one uh, rather than take all eight out and then replace all eight at the same time the reason being is a uh, Obviously, for as long as I've got that, that open down there, uh, there's a hole straight through into the uh, top of the engine there. And you don't want any kind of uh, dirt or grit or grime or any little crumbs or anything of that nature falling down uh, inside the engine. So rather than take them all out, you might want to do them one by one. That's one thing to note. And uh, another thing to note, uh, what some people like to do on spark plugs, they like to get a, a little a drip of uh, brand new fresh oil and uh, rub it around the, uh, the thread. And uh, so when they put that spark plug in, the, um, the theory is uh, they'd already give you a better seal. Uh, but that is completely optional. Uh, I don't usually do that, to be honest. Uh, but some people do, some people don't. That doesn't apply just to Audis, that's to, to all cars in general. So you might want to do a quick bit of uh, Google research on, on whether to put a, a drip of oil on the uh, thread of a spark plug before fitting or not. And you can make up your own decision on, on how to do that. Uh, but let's have a look at put, putting one of these back in. Uh, like I said, mine's a used one. Uh, but we'll imagine this is a brand new one. And we'll look at uh, refitting this now. So, pop it back in the, uh, the spark plug socket. And what you want to do is you want to do this by hand. Okay, whenever you uh, seat a spark plug for the first time, uh, you shouldn't just put it in uh, with a wrench attached to the end and start pulling on it. You should do it completely by hand and feel for it going in nice and smoothly and evenly. The reason being, the, the kind of theory behind this, is if you uh, accidentally cross thread and you've got a, you know, and you have got a wrench on the end of it, you're going to turn that pretty tight and it could cross thread in there and create damage to the thread uh, down at the base there. And obviously that's something that you don't want. So it's always a good, good idea to do it by hand uh, and just kind of do it by feel. You know, it should be nice and smooth, just like that one is. That one's virtually at the bottom of its uh, travel now. Uh, so that's it. But always, uh, always do them by hand before you put the, uh, the wrench on to the end. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my torque wrench on the end of this and I'm going to torque them up to factory spec. Uh, which is 30 newton meters. Uh, so let's do that now. So now I've done that, I'm going to uh, put the coil pack on it. Before I do that, it's a good idea to have a kind of a look down the end and check the uh, the condition of the uh, connector. It should be nice and uh, silver. Uh, down in there, you know, it shouldn't be kind of um, rusty or dirty or anything horrible in there. You want a nice clean connection, so just make sure you're happy with that. Uh, give that a quick blow in there, get rid of air, make sure you get rid of any kind of a dirt or grime that might be in there, and then we're ready to refit it. So, again, just mind your cables as you push these down. And what we want to do is make sure you feel it go onto the head of the uh, spark plug, like so. I'm happy with that. And so all that remains to finish this one off is to replace these two bolts. Let's do that next. So 
again, same kind of principle really. Uh, we don't want any cross threads, so I'm just going to get these started off by uh, hand tightening them, them into place. And uh, when you uh, actually come to tighten these up, uh, when you get your, uh, your wrench on them, as we'll do on the next stage, uh, the factory spec for the tightening of these is 10 newton meters. As you appreciate, 10 newton meters is hardly anything really. Um, so you can kind of make your own kind of best guess. Uh, as to what 10 newton meters is, uh, a lot of um, most torque meters won't go as low as that. You'd have to get something like a specialist torque screwdriver uh, to go to to get as low as 10 newton meters. Uh, but you can kind of get an idea. You've just um, done something there. To uh, I've got the wrong size bit. But you've just done something um, in there that's 30. So obviously it's going to be a fraction of that. So it's literally just going to be tightening it up so it feels right. Just be sure, kind of not to over tighten it. Just do it by kind of feel rather than an anything else. So do that one. Tighten that one up, and then just repeat uh, all the way along, uh, doing all eight of these. Uh, and then once those are done, uh, we can move on to putting it back together. So when you've got to the stage that you've replaced uh, all four on the one side, it's time to uh, pop the electrical connectors uh, back into place. So all you do is just go along one by one, just very carefully slide these back in. You see I haven't done those uh, nuts back up just yet. Just work your way along, click those into place, make sure you get a nice solid, and remember this uh, last one actually tucks down behind the, uh, the rubber seal uh, for the uh, oil filler like that and obviously the last one comes uh, up from the bottom yeah, you can hear them click you get a very gentle click on them uh, when they kind of fit into into situ so that's it so that is uh, how to replace the spark plugs on the Audi RS6